recently, everyone's been focusing on CPI data, reports from the Federal Reserve, and macroeconomic conditions, but there've been a few important announcements if you're a crypto and Cardano investor that we need to be aware of. So we're gonna touch on important things to the overall market and also specifics from Cardano's founder, a warning that is going on with a major scam in the Cardano community, as well as major developments with their biggest decks. So first things that we're seeing with the overall market, while many people have been focusing on overall macroeconomic conditions and CPI data and uh, economic reports, we've actually seen there's been massive volatility in the crypto market, which is to be expected. Same is happening in the stock market. But the one thing I wanna warn everyone of with this is that we've seen over $370 million of liquidations in the last 24 hours. And this has been a pretty consistent thing we have seen over the last few weeks. What this means for us is that shorts and longs are getting liquidated. We saw more recently that a lot of short sellers got liquidated with the massive push up after the Federal Reserve announcement and CPI data. But either way, what I would warn is to not take leverage because people are simply losing their money, accounts are getting liquidated, and by taking leverage, you're just putting yourself at risk because we need to expect volatility still in the coming weeks. So that is the first thing. What we're seeing with Cardano though in particular, I want to quickly interrupt today's video to bring you a word from our channel partner, Fairdesk. Fairdesk is one of our longest term sponsors on the channel and they are a cryptocurrency exchange that offers up to 125X leverage. This is the platform where I have currently been doing a lot of my leverage trading as of recently because they have a very simple and easy to use platform that really provides investors with access to the global crypto markets. Some of the features that I personally enjoy and use the most on Fairdesk are three things. First is that they have a simple mobile app with great charting features if you like technical analysis. The second is that they also offer leverage trading on dozens of the top trading cryptocurrencies. And the third is that they have easy access to short or long any of your favorite cryptos. If you sign up for Fairdesk today using the link in the description, you can get up to a $600 bonus when you deposit $100 or more. So if you're interested in trading crypto specifically with leverage, I definitely think you should check out Fairdesk. Remember, leverage trading is high risk, high reward, but I think this platform is definitely worth checking out. Anyways, let's get back to the program is that Cardano's price has fallen with the rest of the market. Nothing has escaped this uh, overall downtrend. But what we have seen with Cardano is that there are a few big announcements. First of which is that Cardano is currently the third most actively developed ecosystem in the crypto space. And I posted this on Twitter the other day. So if you don't already follow me there, make sure to do that to stay up to date on overall markets and crypto. But what we're seeing with this is that this is a good sign because despite Cardano falling substantially over the last few months. We have continued to see developers build on its ecosystem. If you look at the report from Proof GitHub, you can see that Polkadot, the new version, is number one, um, Kusama, number two, and Cardano, number three. This is well ahead of Decentraland, well ahead of um, Ethereum, Cosmos Flow, and other major projects. So this is something that is exciting to see, and this is great news. In addition to this, on the good news side, we've also seen Cardano's biggest decks by TVL, which is is um, MinSwap. MinSwap, which is the biggest DEX by TVL, like I said, with the over $30 million TVL, has had a record-breaking day while <laughs> the whole other market has simply fallen. What we're seeing with MinSwap is that it's record-breaking day. They announced this on Twitter where MinSwap's DEX saw its second highest volume trading day in the last six months. And this was when the overall market was taking a major hit. So yes, it's to be expected to see more volume and more um, trading going on when there's a day of high volatility. But this is very interesting because when we're seeing a day that has second largest trading volume day in over six months happen when the whole market is crashing, that at least shows us that people are using the Cardano ecosystem and actively um, buying and selling it. Cause you gotta remember every person who's selling, there's a person on the other end who's buying. So it's interesting to see that we're seeing record breaking days for volume. This could be a signal that capitulation, that the bottom of the market is very close. Like we've been saying for a while, this is something that's just very interesting to see that Cardano's biggest decks had a record breaking day for trading volume when the whole market was absolutely 
just a dumpster fire. We saw everything crashing. So that is really interesting. And third thing, which is positive, is that we've actually seen Cardano's uh, founder, Charles Hoskinson, come out and talk about what he predicts for crypto moving forward. And what he says for the overall crypto market is he predicts that crypto is going to decouple from the stock market into its own economy very soon. He says that he predicts this, this will happen over the next year, two, three years from now. He says really 24 to 36 months. But this is something that is different from what he originally anticipated. Originally, he had expected that crypto would be counter cyclical and would place um, would be a place where people would put assets when they are fearful of the global economy. So he thought when the stock market was going down, crypto would be doing well. That's not what's happened. We've obviously seen that crypto and stock markets are paralleling their movements. They're moving Moving basically um, identical, very highly correlated right now. But he says over the next few years, he's expecting that we're going to see a decoupling of this, where we're going to see that long term crypto is going to decouple from traditional marketplaces, have their own economy, similar to how energy has its own economy. And he says ultimately he thinks there's a lot of opportunity in this fact that we're still very early. Institutions are still continuing to double down on their crypto positions, crypto um, services, and we're seeing this continue to grow um, in the institutional space, which will eventually transfer over um, to more money coming in, creating more opportunities more ways to uh, make those gains. Last thing I want to go over is a big warning for Cardano holders, because what we have seen with Cardano right now is that there's a massive scam going on. So if you're a Cardano holder right now, there is a fake Cardano mobile wallet stealing users funds. And this mobile wallet is on the App Store. You can see that after downloading this application, users are asked to type in their seed phrase from the browser based NAMI wallet, which ultimately looks like a normal procedure when you're creating a wallet, but what they eventually do is they end up stealing your information, accessing your Cardano held on the legit browser-based um, NAMI wallet, and they're stealing funds. So one thing to just be careful of right now, not only with Cardano, but in the crypto space is scams, because even though the market is down, there's still a number of scams going on and crypto hacks and scams are at a record high for 2022 um, compared to other years. So make sure you're very careful with your crypto. I would recommend just not even bothering typing in your seed phrase anywhere unless you are on a legitimate website creating a brand new wallet where you have to do it. Otherwise, keep all of your information offline, separate um, in cold storage or hardware wallets. We've talked about this in other videos, but ultimately that's what's going on in the market right now.